But anyway, with no further ado, let's talk about the wide zone. Okay, here's two examples of wide zone plays. Okay, and some of the some of the key things I'll start talking about. Okay, we're just like everybody else. Now we're we're gonna take the halfback to the outside cheek of the tight end. Okay, and that's strong or weak. We call it to the ghost tight end if it's to the weak side. Okay, we want to we want to run that cat out there. He is as important to the zone blocking scheme as the blocks. Okay, and it's I think it's imperative for him to know that. If there's one thing I took from Alex Gibbs is coach the freaking running back. Okay, he is important, and everyone talks about pressing the heels. There's a million different ways to say it. Okay, but his speed, as Dan was Dan was referring to, taking the ball at the handoff and, and how he's staying in front of the zones. By helping you block the linebackers is as important as anything. Him reading it out, okay. Our term, we're gonna, our halfback is going to read from outside in. Okay, I would say if you got it, take it. Okay, at Houston we said you're going to read the DN to the D tackle, number one outside to number two. Okay, here we're saying take if you got the D gap, freaking take it. Okay, if you don't have the D gap, check the C gap. If you got the C gap, take it. If you don't have it, check the B gap. It's really a way to say the same thing. There, that uh, dotted line is supposed to signify what you probably all heard. Okay, is you get one cut. Plant the back. You're going to plant that outside foot at full speed and get vertical upfield. Okay. We're just going to run uh, dance play, the weak side outside zone right here. Okay, and our target is back in here. Mike should have been the safety, but we're going to have a receiver go block him. Okay, in essence, we're putting the tackle on an island. Okay, and we want him to be incredibly aggressive. Okay, you know, we'll get into it more later, but I'm not going to talk about drop steps with my players. Are they going to have to sometimes? Yes, but I want them thinking proactive. We are going at the defense. Well, the only way for him to do that is if, in a sense, there's a little some theoretical bullshit here going on now, but he and the back are zoning together. They're going to zone that defensive end together, and that's his responsibility. So when you're getting this little inside, inside move right here, we've got some techniques that help us block him just enough, but this play is successful because the back is working in conjunction with the, with the tackle on that play. 